I thought this would be dope. NF's producer talk about how they made Hope. Hey guys, what's up? It's Tommy Prophet. I'm gonna show you how I made Hope by NF. Let's go. This is obviously a massive- Bro has a full Iron Man suit. You know this guy's cool. So I'm gonna divide it between act one, two, and three. Okay. So we'll start with act one. So initially, uh, the song started with just the short staccato piano chords, uh, but there was a lot of space, even though he was singing between them. And so we decided to add the pulsing piano note that added some movement and tension. Okay. So anyone who's ever listened to- Wait, any this is just the Hope song? Damn, I thought it was gonna be the whole album. The song ever knows that it needs to progress and yes. grow and build and lay build So in the next yeah. section, we added these uh, short staccato and calenio string hits on the half notes just to keep the song driving and building. There's also sort of a theme of like horror string transitions that we use throughout the song. Uh, using various libraries like 8DO case strings and Audio Imperia Constrictor. Yeah. Those big orchestral moments in Hope. And then, then at about to the, the violin. 1 minute 29 mark, the song really begins to pick up and enters Act 2. So the patch that started it all was this uh, thing I found in 8DO Studio Series Deep Solo Cello. And it was called the cello. Volante. Not sure how you say that. Volante. But it's basically this super short spiccato cello that I've never even heard before. It's so short. That's so sound. crazy. You can play string instruments on a keyboard, bro. I mean, I'm sure this is old as shit. Like, but I, you never really think about it unless you're a musician. Like, you're thinking somebody's actually in there, like, do, 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 or the cello. Do, 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 do. Like it. That's so crazy. You can just shortcut, download software, put it on the keyboard. Boop, 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 boop. Oh my God. <laughs> and it sounded super cool. So we built on that. So then we added like six or seven more libraries, all playing that same arpeggiation. Okay. And some were ensemble cellos, some were solo cellos, some we put so distortion more, on. Sounds like and more it just people are doing made it. it and distortion? Like okay. this massive wide sound of all these cellos all playing the same part and then when he recorded all of this with his cell phone bro bro took a picture with his cell phone <laughs> once we had that going in order to grow i added a harmony part it's so crazy man just one keyboard that's all i need to make a whole and then song. i brought back those same uh spiccato and caleno patches from act one and I played this different offbeat rhythm, so it gave it like a syncopated feel. Yeah. Like you're going into battle. That's what it, it that's and the thing. Then to build the momentum and energy even more, mm -hmm. I played this super fast rhythm on top, and it gave Deep it almost like a frantic feeling. While yeah. all of this is happening, um, maybe most interestingly of all, we found this vocal sample that we pitched uh, and created a counter melody. And That's then of dope. course, during all of this, there's big downbeat hits yes. with low strings, and brass, and orchestra patches. And the piano's hitting hard. Act two is actually Sounds much so bigger good. than I thought. Yeah, I mean, so it's because it's a crazy epic buildup. Yeah, so it makes sense why you put so much effort into it, man. Well, act three starts with the soft piano when Nate starts talking about his son. And I started playing the same melody that I was playing with the uh, volante cello, mm -hmm. but I was playing it soft Softer, and yeah. emotional on the piano. And it created this uh, starting point for us to uh, build, upon. build this big, massive cinematic ending. So okay. you obviously can't jump from soft piano to super epic in one second. No. So we introduced these really creepy string beds that we found. No. Which gave it that, that extra vibe when he was like going back and forth with himself and you could see like whoever did the cinematography and after effects, they were like, yeah, let's put some veins on them, make it kind of like a venom uh, from Marvel type effect. So dope. And it's like pulsating too whenever it's coming out. It's not just stagnant like if it was made with makeup. Oh my God, so good. That's really where the full orchestra comes in for the first time. And so I added two long string patches, Spitfire LCO Vivid Longs and some Phobia Long String Ensembles. And those two together just instantly sound huge and give it a big string feel instantly. You have to view it like a, a ladder, right? And so every every section builds building. one step higher, adding yes. higher and yes. higher notes yes. and adding an octave to the string part. So then when you get to the top, 
it's this super massive, epic, cinematic, Marvel sounding movie score. Yes. So one of the biggest exactly. ways to get that big, epic, cinematic sound is by adding brass. I usually add two patches <laughs> from Cinebrass yes. Pro. When it sounds like they were going in the war, like, yeah, we're here. The monster low brass and the 12 horns ensemble. And that's literally all you need. Dude, that's all you need, baby. And then I enforce the melody by layering 11 different string staccato libraries. And so when I played the piano, it triggered all 11 of them and it sounded massive. That's so crazy, dude. Like copy, paste, 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 change the pitch of a couple of them or don't touch anything. And it's like one button. 11 different instruments sounding off. That's so crazy, man. Production is so goddamn wild. And this whole so time, good. the piano continues to build yeah. underneath all of this. There's no drums in this part of the song, so it's gotta be powerful musically. And yes. then you add all of the big orchestral downbeats and the low string hits and the brass hits and the big trailer effects. The he hits. did all that. So he put the brass on the left side of the keyboard. Oh my God, this guy's actually really good at, uh, he's a really good pianist. And the impacts and the whooshes and the swells. There's a reason why he's working for swipes. NF. <laughs> and then you're Jeez. left with one final piece, which is my absolute favorite of them all. Vocals on a freaking keyboard. Oh my god. Like this guy made the song <laughs> NF said, okay, I'm gonna rap. Here's the lyrics make something around it. <laughs> I'm, I'm Joking, but yeah That's so crazy giving me Star Wars vibes That's so crazy That's so sick search okay okay wow holy crap dude tommy prophet if i ever make a, a freaking song i need him on it <laughs> i need him on it he's made a lot of stuff oh my god what's his most popular video in the end five years ago wow 58 million views bro closer he made closer by the chain smokers oh yeah this guy's a certified legend fuck now i can't afford them <laughs> anyways that was super dope super great to see and i'm honestly mind blown that it it basically was like a small crew it's like tommy nf um the people recording the camera the people in after effects but like the sound it makes it seem like it was way more than just i'm gonna assume it's probably like maybe like 60 people on this like there's no way like 200 300 people help make this stuff that's absolutely insane. Anyways, this is your boy Miss Conversation Scraps. See you guys next time. Peace.